today I thought we'd be doing some Lego game reviews and I've got both Harry Potter's Pirates of the Caribbean and the new Lego Star Wars 3 to do. So I thought I'd start off with Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. I've already got it set up here and this is a level called the Vatpole Attacks in from the first movie. From first impressions of this game one of the really good things about it is definitely the graphics because it just looks really smooth and it just I think it makes the game a lot better and the graphics will definitely help you identify the characters there are there have been a lot of people saying there are bad points about this game Definitely, there are a couple of bad points. Definitely the fact that you can... One of the points that I think is really bad is... It's, it's a good and bad point. You can control up to, I think, six to eight characters at one time. And because of this, say one character you need gets stuck, you're gonna... It's really annoying. And this happened to me just a minute ago, where Jack Sparrow got stuck behind... I think it was a box, but it was just quite annoying. So that that can be annoying sometimes, but that can happen with any level again. They do show scenes throughout the movie like this, but some of the boring scenes are made a lot better than because they add a sense of humour to it. This is one of the scenes you can see. So yeah, it definitely helps the game by showing some of the movie um, scenes, but if you haven't seen the movies, you'll be completely, what is going on, because they don't show them exactly, like, they'll be a bit messed up, the scenes. Some of the puzzles also are a bit can be a bit annoying because you'll be in a room and you're supposed to solve some sort of puzzle but you won't know, you won't have a clue of what to do because sometimes it won't show you the items you need and sometimes it can just, it's not very helpful sometimes but throughout the most of the game it's really really fun because you just you can just go around and smash things up and just collect as many studs as possible which is really fun. There is so much to collect in this game. In if any of you guys have played Lego games before, you might remember the red bricks, which you collect for. Um, you can collect them for like just unlockables. In this game, it's the red hats, as in pirate hats, and there are loads of those to collect, and they're like really. Some of them are quite fun because some of them are like being able to breathe underwater to being able to see the uh, little mini kits which is quite a cool addition also the amount of characters you can unlock as well is quite fun you can unlock people from the ordinary Jack Sparrow to people who you wouldn't really think you could unlock in a movie more like people who are in the background and extras and the way it uses the different characters throughout the game the way you can sort of use everyone to every like single character having a different skill is really cool. Sometimes there is another word point, sometimes the cam camera angles can not really help you because sometimes you'll be behind here and you won't be able to see what you're doing and there might be an item that you really need throughout that level hidden behind a wall or something that you won't be able to see so that can be quite annoying as well but apart from that the game's really good 
and it's just really fun to play and you can play it at really any age because it's just it's just really quite fun it's more muck around game than a proper serious game you can also play with your friends um, this has been quite a big debate however though you can only play with your friends on the same xbox you can't play online which is definitely one of the really bad points because the only way you could play with a friend if they were is if they were sitting right next to you. So If I were to give this game a rating out of 10, I would only give it 8.5 because definitely the lack of online play lets it down and sometimes just the camera angles and stuff like that let it down but there are so many good points about this game so if you are a LEGO or just a Pirates of the Caribbean fan, definitely go out and get this because it's really fun. Thanks for watching guys.